Hi friends, oh welcome back and thank you so much for stopping by. If you see my last video where I decorated my front patio, I used two DIY benches. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how easy it is to make those yourself. I'm gonna start off with the smaller bench using these smaller pallets. Now, this video was already recorded last year. I didn't get the time to finish it and share it with you. So you are going to see some changes in the bench that I used in my front patio and the eventual result of this video. But I'm just going to show you the basic steps. Now, I don't have a miter saw, so I started by cutting the uh, pallet in two using my jigsaw and the blade of the jigsaw saw was too short so it didn't um, go through the wood beam at once so I had to do this step I had to do this in two steps This is one of the first difference between the bench that I used on my patio and this one. I decided to cut off these pieces on the side here and let me know in the comments below uh, eventually which one you like better because I did like it with the, uh, with the pieces still on making the bench longer. Next, I'm using this wood beam that was a leftover. I've had it for a long time in my storage and I actually had two of them. One I used to build in my fireplace, in my TV stand. I will leave a link of that video in my description box as well. But here I am measuring up how long I want the legs to be and then I'm cutting them in pieces. Once I had all the parts I needed for my bench, I started sanding every piece down, making it nice and smooth for a clean finish. Here is the second difference between the two benches. Now I can tell you it is so much easier having the proper tools, equipments and the materials. But if you don't, just make it work. See what you have and use that. So for the legs, I am using some wood glue and some nails to attach them to the bench. Now, of course, I wanted to use screws, but I didn't have that on hand. And I have to say this did turn out very sturdy. Hi there, if this is your first visit, a welcome to my happy home. I am your host, Arelis. If you like home decor on a thrift budget, then definitely stick around and hit that subscribe button. Here I like to share with you my thrift finds, affordable home decor and easy, low cost DIYs such as these. Two new benches that I made cost me a little over seven euros. Since I didn't have any leftover beams, I had to go to the hardware store and I got two of these larger beams. They were 270 centimeters and that allowed me to get a four legs out of each beam of 50 centimeter each. The third difference between the two benches are these corner brackets. At the time I was making this bench, I only had one. So second time around, I did get the corner brackets and I used them for my other two benches. And one bench being for my backyard, which, will, which you will see in my next video. And I also went out and got some screws and I used them on the side of the bench, as you can see here too. And on top of the bench, I used one screw to connect the leg to the seating as well. And this was so much easier. Of course, like I said, you can use the nails, but if you have the proper tool, it will make your job so much easier. This is the step where it all went wrong I used this light oak wood stain now it didn't really went wrong but the bench didn't turn out the way I wanted it was my first time using a stain ever you guys and I had no idea of the color change on the wood 
and it turned out that this stain was really orangey it was too orangey for my liking but of course if you like the wood look it is so pretty but i was not going for this look so i told my mom about it and she thought it was pretty and she used it as a plant stand in her backyard so that's why i donated this bench to her and i created two new ones for myself This is the finished product and I absolutely love how it turned out. I cannot believe it turned out this great just using the materials that I had. Unfortunately, it wasn't the color that I was going for. Now, I also wanted to give it more of a finished look by adding a piece of wood on the front and the back, covering this up. Now, you won't see me do that on camera. As you recall, I cut the first palette in, in two pieces and this is the second leftover piece. Here I am pulling it apart so I can use the long wood beams to cover the bench on the front and the back side. And the leftover smaller piece I'm going to be using in my next DIY that you will see shortly. And here are the finished benches. Now leave me a comment down below which one is your favorite. For this large bench I'm gonna be using this large palette and I'm gonna start off the same way as I did the first one cutting it in two using the larger part this time for the seating and the smaller part for the back support of the bench and I just used a ton of brackets to connect the two pieces together because I wanted to have a very sturdy piece. For the legs of this bench, I used the leftover pieces of wood from my first bench. After I put everything together, I sanded down the entire piece and for the paint I wanted to have a nice shade of grey and of course I didn't have that on hand so I decided to mix it myself using some white and black paint. I painted the entire piece except for the bottom and for the finishing touch I added these corner brackets to act as plant holders and here is the finished result. And that is all I have for you today. I hope I could have given you some motivation to create something for your outdoor decor. I hope to see you again in my next one really, really soon. Until then, always remember to live, laugh and love. Bye.